Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Nikkei Goddess of Victory video. Alright, it's been a while. Uh, there's plenty of things that have been added ever since in the last couple of uh, weeks. So let's talk about everything. Uh, if you guys are not aware, Overzone, uh, this week is going to be the last week. This weekend, we're also going to have the double uh, EXP things going on. So make sure you guys uh, complete this and finish as many things of this as you can. Uh, also, by the way, if you guys haven't already, try to obtain all of these things from the map, right? So there's like, as you can see right now, there's 16 out of 43. I still have a lot of things to collect. So I'm just going to like do one whole swoop and try to collect all of these uh, collection stuff from the map. The story 2 has a part 2, alright, if you guys are not aware of that. So that's the one that you want to farm, go all in with all the extra uh, tickets or tries that you can buy from the shop as well. So make sure you are farming on the hard one, not the normal one. So you get more currency. Ideally, the second last one is the best stage, uh, 1-9. I'm still yet to do that. So once you do that, you'll have your last piece of Ray. So make sure you guys don't miss that free limit break tree for you. But today's video, we're focusing on the solo race that just came in yesterday. I wanted to do this yesterday, but uh, we can only do three tries per day. So we can only do the first three difficulty. That one was a little bit too easy. So hopefully now I have difficulty five unlocked. So let's show you guys my strategy. All right, so this one, uh, very, very good rewards. You can only do this alone. As you can see, here are the rewards. You get a cute battery random reward. So yes, it's a bit... It's a little bit uh, lacking, right? Hopefully, I was hoping we will get more rewards, but as you can see, it's still free battery. Definitely, it's still free stuff for you to upload your cubes. With that being said, let's jump into challenge 5 and show you guys a couple of uh, strategy, right? So, uh, first skill, fires laser beam, dealing damage to all Nikkei's. Ultrasonic wave. So this one, uh, Mother Whale apparently can summon raptures, alright? So getting buffs to all summon raptures, alright? Gotta destroy the core, or else it will always give this uh, increased attack by 120%. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, Mother Whale will have the missiles that it can try to slowly uh, gather and try to destroy you. Uh, any in any case, he will have defense reduced. So you want to pay attention to that. Uh, Scarlet and Modonia undoubtedly is going to be the best uh, characters in trying to deal with all of these missiles in the air. Uh, something that does AoE. I think Privati is not too bad as well if you have her which everybody has, uh, just AOE. And then you can see this one, uh, these two skills, it basically launches Master Raptures and launches Ground-type Raptures, something that you want to pay attention. So this is my team one. I'm going to go with uh, following characters. We have Dorothy uh, as my burst one, the only dedicated burst one. Uh, burst two, we have Quincy right here uh, to basically help out with the heal a little bit, all right? So her heal that she can provide is going to help Scarlet to be able to sustain the damage. And the HP is going to be constantly maintained. We have Sugar with the damage. Uh, Privati is to apply buffs. Privati Dorothy combo is something that uh, a lot of people have been saying is uh, one of the better combos. We don't really have Admi in this case, but still this is going to be a decent one. So let's jump into it, show you guys a little bit of how this team works. So ideally the best damage dealers that you can have is going to be Scarlet, Modernia, uh, Laplace, Alice is pretty decent as well, all right, and Sugar. So let's jump into, uh, we're just going to control focus on Dorothy right here. So I'm just going to let the AI do its thing. So notice all of these missiles down here. Don't worry too much about them because Scarlet will be able to slash through all of them, all right, with the third skill. Okay, so as you can see, so now let the AI do its thing. Uh, we're going to focus on the raptures for now. Okay, these raptures are going to be amazingly annoying. Okay, nice. So far, so good. This is a thick boss right here. Very, very thick. I wonder if I'll be able to beat this. Okay, Sugar is the one that is uh, focusing now. Alright, so let's help out Sugar a little bit. So let's pause for a bit and have a look at the damage. As you can see, Scarlet is doing a lot. That's a lot compared to Dorothy. But that's because we were able to defeat all the missiles, all the rockets as well. Okay, so I'm not sure if uh, it's better for me to use Sugar or Privati in this case, right? But Dorothy and Scarlet will have the damage source right there. So hopefully I'm not too worried about that. Missiles coming. So this is a pretty comfy auto team it looks like. Okay, so summon prod, hopefully we focus on that. Maybe Alice instead of Sugar might be better. Because those things are pretty far away. Uh, I don't think we are beating the core anytime soon. Alright. So we have all of these. All of these enemies. Can we beat all of these enemies? Alright, we need the burst. We need the burst ASAP. Okay. 
Alright, so far we are beating the summon port L3. Uh, ideally, get rid of the port. Uh, and then we can slowly remove the core later on. Uh, characters are really low. Quincy will only heal two characters as far as I know. So if you have a better healer like Helm, uh, that's going to be a pretty obvious choice as well. Okay, looking good. Alright, we got one minute left in terms of the timer. Let me just uh, focus on the core a little bit. Okay, so get rid of the raptures ASAP. Uh, you have no choice but to get rid of the raptures or else they will start doing too much damage if you are not careful. The whale, the mother whale herself doesn't do that much damage. So you just got to worry about the sequence of the, the raptures. Okay, at this point we are only doing one damage. Oh no, a couple of my characters are down. Okay, uh, Santi is going to be essential as well. Moving into... Uh, we do have 20 seconds left and it is what it is. No shields for this team. Alright, that's a lot of damage moving in. So I'll need to split this into two teams looks like. Uh, okay. There's nothing much that I can do. I thought of restarting but hey, we got like 10 seconds left. Uh, 20 seconds left just now. So let's go with team 2. Something more defensive. So the team 1 was able to do about 100 and 110 million. Alright, so let's have a look at the statistics. Scarlet with 52 million. Uh, Quincy very lacking. Uh, Sugar not too bad. Uh, Dorothy is there. Uh, Privati was supposed to provide buffs to Dorothy and Scarlet. But yeah, Scarlet uh, carried me right there. For sure. Okay, let's see if I can two-team this. Uh, this is going to be really tough. I plan to run Little Santi. Going on into for for team two, all right. Hopefully with this, but I'll bring in Rapunzel. I'll take out Laplace. So we'll leave Laplace for team three, just in case. You know, just in case if I mess up the run a little bit. Remember, you got five. You can bring in five teams per try. Uh, so hopefully we are able to beat this boss within these five teams. Oh, I forgot to check my cubes. There might be some characters that might not have cubes. Uh, that's also something to to be worried about. So Modernia can sweep all of these pretty easily, so not too worried right here, right? As you guys can see, uh, Modernia is very, very good. I would say try to... Try to manual Modernia if you can. Okay, immune. A little bit annoying. I'm gonna get rid of all of these. Rapunzel is here, so uh, this is a pretty safe, comfortable team. So Rapunzel provides heals. If anyone dies, I'll just, you know, wait for her to revive. So that's going to be something that I'm not that worried about. But the problem is more about uh, doing damage to the boss. Okay, we're starting to receive a lot of damage here. Let's go, Modernia. Okay, so Modernia is getting burst. So again, this burst is going to be so good. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Little down. Okay, was not expecting that litter to go down. Uh, that is actually a lot of damage. Okay, so we have summons just in case. Like I mentioned, uh, now we are able to bring back litter, so that's that part is good. So let's get rid of all of these small dudes. Oh man, they actually do very annoying damage. So you gotta have a little bit of sustain for sure. Destroy all the summon parts. Ideally destroying the core does give you a little bit of damage as well. Uh, but right now as you can see, I'm not sure if uh, Drake is a good idea here. Alright, come on. Okay, that is a bit scary. That is a bit scary. Uh, yeah, this team is definitely much more lacking in damage uh, compared to what Scarlet can do. So let me try and sub destroy the summon prod as much as I can. Yeah, that part, that one is gonna be a little bit annoying. Okay, we destroy some right there. Every time you destroy the boss part damage, uh, you're gonna do some extra damage. Okay. Okay, the shield came in at the wrong time. 
I'm just gonna focus the middle because we got like 10 more seconds. So just go in here. Oof. Okay, uh, at last minute I was able to remove the boss one of the port from uh, I think 41 to times 27. So that port every time is destroyed, it does do slightly more damage. Uh, that's going to be better nearing the end. Alright, so obviously this is the damage wise. You can see it's much more balanced this time around. So Lita, Santi, Modernia and Drake carried me right there. Rapunzel actually did a decent chunk of damage right there. Team 3. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you guys are able to do this, but hey, this is going to be, this is just uh, difficulty 5. So now we get to craft for the last team. Okay, let me focus. Uh, we'll wait for everyone to be summoned. Okay, now we activate this. So Heron can do some sort of damage. Hopefully Heron. Where's your damage, Heron? You need AoE for this one. This one is tough if you don't have AoE. Alright, my last team. Hopefully, I can do 5 million with this. We have Emma, D, Dola, uh, Helm, and Jekyll. You just gotta make sure to have a perfect team for every single every single phase. But I can't think of like a good burst free right now that ideally will be able to help you with all of these minions that you summon, right? But I hope this one, this one, we can definitely do enough damage for sure, right? So this one we're just going to focus on the core. No need to worry about the raptures coming out. The raptures coming out is a big uh, problem for sure. You need AOE characters to deal with those. And right now we don't really have enough of those, sadly. Uh, okay, surprisingly D, D did the most damage. So difficulty 6 is going to be the tough one. Okay, let's have a look at my rankings. Uh, I was able to be in top 7% right now. So I believe if I, can, if I can beat difficulty 6, which seems really really tough, I think uh, I'm going to get a better ranking. Snow White team can be decent as well uh, if you guys want to try uh, try those. Difficulty 6, I don't think I can beat it, but I'll try it on my own using mock battle. But hey, that's going to be solo raids for you guys. Uh, something that you want to have, proper equipments, proper gears. This is like the super 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 end game uh, for a lot of players. And yeah, it's quite fun, alright. Uh, let me know which team do you guys use to beat Difficulty 5 or Difficulty 6. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.